Um, so the topic is uh, preoperative anticoagulation in patients undergoing bariatric surgeries associated with worse outcomes. I would like to thank the program committee for the opportunity to present. Um, there is no relevant disclosures from our group. So um, obesity is proving to be a major public health uh, problem, um, and bariatric surgery is gaining popularity as it's uh, proving to be uh, only sustainable treatment of obesity. Um, so as the number of uh, obese patients also is increasing, you can see that the number of bariatric surgeries is increasing. Uh, as uh, most recently in 2017, there were 230,000 uh, procedures being performed. Management of patients on chronic anticoagulation in bariatric surgery may present a challenge as there is a delicate balance between risk of bleeding and thrombotic events such as DVTs and pulmonary embolism. So the purpose of our study was to evaluate and compare rates of bleeding, thrombotic events, and outcomes of patients and preoperative anticoagulation during bariatric surgery. So we used the MBS QAP, uh, which is the, um, the ASMBS uh, registry, and through the use of uh, CPT codes, we identified patients that have undergone laparoscopic adjustable gastric banding, sleeve gastrectomy, and Renoir gastric bypass, so the most common three procedures, between 2015 and 2016. We divided the groups into those that had a preoperative anticoagulation uh, versus uh, not. Uh, we excluded patients that uh, had, uh, were, were adolescents or uh, children, less than 18, and uh, missing data. We compared patients in terms of demographics, surgery type, comorbidities, and complications. In terms of outcomes, we looked specifically in bleeding, PE, and DVT, but also hospital length of stay, risk of 30-day readmission, reoperation, intervention, and mortality among the two groups. After univariate analysis, we, to account for the confounding variables, we uh, performed a multivariable logistic regression. So a busy slide, but just wanted to point out that there were uh, approximately 260,000 patients in those two years, as 7,000 were banned, um, about 187,000 were sleeve gastrectomies, and 70, of close to 75,000 were ruined by gastric bypass. Um, there were a lot of uh, differences in, in between the two groups. Uh, the, for patients that were on preoperative anticoagulation, um, there were 2.4 percent that were preoperatively on, on uh, anticoagulation. Uh, the highest uh, rate was in actually in the Ruinway gastric bypass group. And again, a very diverse population, so we had to account for a lot of variables in the multivariable logistic regression. Again, very busy slide, but a lot of differences. You can see all the, all the significant values. Um, so the rates of uh, uh, transfusion, uh, pulmonary embolism, and um, and uh, DVTs were 0 0.67, 0 0.11, 0 0.18, uh, respectively. And after we accounted uh, for the confounding variables, uh, preoperative anticoagulation was a risk factor for bleeding, not for uh, uh, PE, as uh, p-value was 0 0.3, was also a risk factor for DVTs. Um, also, patients with preoperative uh, anticoagulation had a longer hospital length of stay. Uh, had more 30-day readmission rates, more 30-day uh, more, uh, more, uh, reoperation, and 30-day mortality. So based on these findings, we concluded that patients with preoperative anticoagulation had worse outcomes in terms of bleeding, DVT, 30-day readmission, reoperation, intervention, mortality, and a longer hospital length of stay. And we as bariatric surgeons should be aware of the increased morbidity and mortality, and care must be taken to improve outcomes through close attention uh, to postoperative anticoagulation protocols in this uh, group of patients. Thank you.